Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and in this video we will talk about NPM. So I hope you are enjoying this series on Node.js and one of the most important topic in Node.js series is NPM. NPM stands for Node Package Manager. But why do we need it? First of all, when you talk about Node.js, it is very famous, right? Now it is famous because it provides a lot of different features. One of them is non-blocking IO, which we'll talk about that later. And the other one is NPM, the package manager. See what happens is, as a developer, when you build applications, when you build websites or whatever type of application you build, uh, you need to use some external libraries. You have to use some external dependencies. See, you can do everything from scratch, right? You can write the entire application by yourself. But then we are living in a world where you need you need to do things faster. Plus, there are certain things which are already there, right? So, example, if you want to build, uh, if you want to find a way to connect with a database, right? So you can you by yourself you can build an API which you which will help you to connect your application with a database. Maybe you want to do some validation for the objects. So let's say you uh, you have an object which has certain properties and you want to validate it. Now, one way to do that is by building a a, a module by yourself which will validate your object so those are the ways right so you can build everything by yourself but then when you have a common task when you have a common problem since we have millions of developers and they are building the same thing which you you are doing so why can't we create a module which will be used by everyone so let's say i'm solving a big problem so what we can do is we can we can convert that into small problems right and then every problem or every solution will be one module and maybe what I can do is I can I can push this module to the repository so that the entire world can use it, right? Uh, so when you build all the application, we'll be having some common features, right? So you can put that in modules. In the same way, when you talk about Node.js, Node has a lot of inbuilt modules. One of that we have already seen, which is HTTP. But what if you want to work with file system? We have a module for that. What if you want to work with cryptography? We have a module for that. So Node.js has some inbuilt modules. But what if you want extra modules? What if you want to use someone else's modules? And that's where we have a concept of NPM, which is Node Package Manager. Now, this concept is there in multiple languages. When I work on Java, we have libraries there. We have dependencies. Uh, so I can use that. Uh, so we used to use Maven there or Gradle to fetch that. But they have a different approach. Now, in terms of NPM, it has millions of uh, packages available. That's right. Uh, so last year, when I when I saw the article, uh, it, they have mentioned that last year it was they have completed completed one million packages on on npm. That's that's awesome, right? So that means when the moment you have a problem in your mind, there is a solution available, and that's the awesomeness about npm. So basically, you can use all those packages. So you can just fetch them install on your machine and use them and you can also push your packages so let's say if you have a module which you have created so you can push that module to the github and the entire world will use it and that's awesome now let's go to the website of npm to get more information so this is the official website of npm which is npmjs.com uh, and the the good news is npm okay good news or bad news i'm not sure but npm is now part of github and github is now part of microsoft uh, so so you can see it says build uh, build amazing things using uh, in javascript so it will take you from somewhere to everywhere using npm that's what they promise uh, so it, it has multiple packages we have to focus on the free one so this this is the npm free one which we are going to use so come back here now when i say it has millions of packages how will you get those packages now, first of all, uh, we need to search for the package. Uh, so let's say I want to search, I want to do some socket programming. I can search for socket.io. Now using socket.io, you can create real-time servers, real-time data, data sending. Uh, yeah, that's right, so you can see you can use this socket.io and look at the weekly downloads. And that's so famous, right? So it says around 15 million per month. That's huge number of usage. Uh, one of the package which we are going to use in this code is maybe uh, MongoDB. We are going to use MongoDB for connecting connecting the database. Uh, this is the official one, uh, so you can use that. Uh, and soon we are going to use Express.js. Now Express is a framework for web development in in, in Node.js. So if I go back to Express, that's what it says. It says fast, unopinionated, minimalistic web framework for Node. Okay, we'll see that. This is a simple sample code. But then how will you get this module in your project or in your in your machine? Uh, that's where we have a concept of uh, we have to we have to execute this command. But where you will do it? Of course, you can do it in normal command prompt. 
Uh, but then if you remember, we were writing some, we were writing a code right before. In the same terminal here, this is the thing which we have done before. Uh, that's the command you have to pass to check the npm version. So yes, when you install uh, np, when you install Node.js, you will get npm as well. So here, if I want to install that, I will simply say npm install express. This is the command you have to execute to install packages. That's it. And once you install the packages, you can use that in your in your project. Uh, so it says installing uh, express. So it will take some time. But then after installation, how will you use it? The way you have used HTTP. Now HTTP is an inbuilt module in Node.js, and that's why we have, we don't have to download it from from the from npm. So you can simply say require, and you can mention the module name. The same thing goes for express. So just mention uh, require express. It will give you express framework, and that's it. That's how you install it. Uh, I guess there is an error. No. Okay, so we got Express. Uh, so you can see in our modules folder, you will see Express here. That's right. So we got Express. But then we have only installed one package, right? Why we got all these other modules? So the thing is, when you want a module, maybe that module is dependent on some other modules. So that's uh, what you say. So those are the secondary dependencies. So you want Express. Express wants all other modules. And that's why you got all the modules here. Uh, so Likewise, you can you can download multiple uh, multiple modules the way just doing the same thing, right? Uh, one thing interesting here is if I go to Node.js and if I minimize this or Node.x and minimize this, there's one more one more file which is package log JSON. Again, we'll talk about that in, that in detail later. Uh, so we have the log version and then we can have also normal version which we can edit. Now this is where you mention what you need in your project, so which modules you need. Uh, so we have we have used Express. So let me just search for Express here, and you can see we are using Express version, which is four point four point seventeen point one, uh, and it will give you the exact version. Uh, so there are, there are different ways you can mention the version which you want to install. Uh, so when we when we installed npm uh, when we installed Express, we have not mentioned the version. So if I go back to the website, so it should show you the version. You can see we got. 4.17.1 but what if you want to use the earlier versions how will you do that so when you click on this versions tab you can see all the older version and if you want a specific version here let's say if you want to go for uh, 14.4.15.1 and if you want to install this dependency then you have to mention the version number as well so you can see we have a command here which is npm so you can also use i or install that's your choice you have to mention the name of the package and the version which is 4.15.1 but there are other options as well. So what if you want the latest version or you want the version about this version? So you can specify all those things using, using special symbols, which we'll see later when we talk about uh, the packages in detail later. So that's how we can use the existing packages. But what if you want to create a, your own module? It's quite possible. You just have to create a module, which we'll see later how to create a module. But once you have your module ready with you, which you are using in your project, the same module you can publish on on NPM, right? So everyone can use it. Uh, so let's, let's see if I can make a video on that, how to publish your own modules. But as of now, we have we have understood what is NPM. NPM stands for Node Package Manager, which manages all your packages. Uh, so we have millions of packages available online. And if you if you are trying to solve a given problem, break down that problem, and one of the problem solution will be available in the packages. Not one, many actually. So yeah, that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for other videos. Bye-bye.